important football games through the night tonight to the state fair that Jeff just talked about. A lot of people with outdoor plans dodging or even still dodging the storms out there and then planning for the cold that is going to be moving in shortly. Aaron Jones, live for us from the state fair, and I hear the thunder all around you. Yes, we have the thunder, the lightning, and you can probably tell by my hair. We even have the wind out here. It really started coming down around 8:45, though, and shortly after that, the fair started clearing out. You can see hardly anyone out here, and you can even see the wind with that guy's umbrella right there. His umbrella has completely blown up. Uh, but Texas OU fans, they were out here. They said they were okay with the rain, and they say right. When tomorrow starts, they'll be right back out here, but this time with ponchos. From Chicago, been here 15 years, and love it out here. At McKenney Stadium, Ronald Rockamore says it's going to take a lot more than storms to stop him from seeing his son play football for McKenney High School. It, it could be like a, a little hurricane coming across, or what, what do you call it, a tornado? And these people won't move, which me, I'm getting up and I'm leaving, but for the most part, little rain never heard nothing. Over at Fair Park, as Texas OU weekend approaches, many college football fans say they feel the same way. We've been out here when it's hot and sunny and you get sunburned, and we've also been here when it's rainy. This will be Texas fan Steve Dial's 40th Red River Showdown. And my very first one was when Earl Campbell was a senior. But yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, you just, yeah, that, that game's worth it. Just... Fair staffers say they're prepared for changing conditions. We're, we're keeping a close eye on that. I think our biggest threat for this is, uh, for me, is lightning and high winds. Senior Vice President of Operations Rusty Fitzgerald says in the case of lightning, once it's 20 miles out, he'll begin shutting down the taller rides, then the shorter rides if need be. Dial says for his sake, he hopes the only electricity he sees is on the field. It's just one you just don't miss. You just, yeah, that, that game's worth it. And so you can see out here live tonight, some people have ponchos. They've cut little holes so that they can see out of here. The, the strong winds are really picking up. We're seeing that light rain. There was a meteorologist out here that works with the fair, and he says right now we're kind of in a low period, but we're going to see that rain kick back up again here shortly. So again, they're watching the conditions, and they say they're prepared for anything. Reporting live in Dallas tonight, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron, thank you very much.